Hello everyone, I'm James, this is Georgia. Alright, so, I think it's been like 40 years, it's been a long time. Uh, I conquered all of this territory from the Empire of the Romans. So, I pretty much conquered everything that I want. And then some. So, this is pretty much what I set out to do. Anatolia, this area, and then extend down to here. Got some uh, colonies in India pulling that trade. Uh, so, uh, Maratha got independence from Vijayanagara, but then they lost it. So then I conquered one of their, the last remaining territory, and then I got them some of their territory back. So these guys are vassal. So they're helping me pull trade. Granted, it's in the uh, Konkan node, which... Actually, there's a decent bit of ducats. I'm trying to build more uh, light ships now to uh, try and pull the rest of this trade because there's still a good bit of trade over here that is not not being transferred forward that we could actually grab. So that is going on. I also vassalized Zeta and took some provinces from Hungary. They're kind of worthless, though. Well, they're in the Danube. So we can transfer that to the Aegean, which we are doing. So they're actually not as worthless as I thought. There's a Liberate the Faithful CB, because most of these provinces are orthodox, which is why I did that. 25% aggressive expansion, so... There is a Nationalism CB against the Byzantines, which is 50% aggressive expansion, so I've been... I'll probably take all of their Greek provinces from them. Which is this, pretty much all of these provinces. So I'll probably conquer the rest of those. And then the Papal State took a couple as well, so I'll probably grab those from them. So I'll actually do, probably conquer Greece. That's the, uh, pretty much the rest of the Aegean node. So we can really get that up as close to 100% as possible. Capture all that trade that comes over from India. We make about 181 ducats a month, which that should actually increase once I get those uh, trade ships built. Should be more, mostly from trade. Pretty much converted 99% of our provinces. There's only two, four, six provinces that are not converted, and I think three or four of them are over here, which once they're in a trade company, they're harder to actually convert. So all of these provinces have been converted. Except I think, well, that one's our vassal. This one over here, I think is the only one that has not been converted. Or this one too. So there's there's two provinces over here that actually haven't been converted yet. But they'll be they'll be converted eventually. Our capital probably just look at uh let's do let's see autonomy. Here's the autonomy map mode, we'll ignore the stuff in India. Because that should be can't go lower than 100%, so... Uh, it's pretty good. If it's yellow, it's because that's the cap. So, pretty much all of the provinces that are uh, orange to red are ones that we uh, could get lower. So, I think this is pretty good. This area was probably always going to have trouble because it's so far away and landlocked, essentially. And then we just conquered this area, these couple of provinces. So, yeah, most of these provinces are green. And if they're not green, they're yellow because they're capped at 50%. Because they're not full cores. Like, most of the provinces over here are yellowish. They're hanging out in the mid-50s. So there's a Trapezunta with 116 development, 545,000 urban pops. I think most of the uh, modifiers are the same. 
Level 4, Dominant Center of Trade. Level 3, Center of Production. Constantinople, 417,000 urban pops. Largest center of production. Konya. There's a couple of provinces over here. Konya and Karaman. Karaman has 224,000 urban pops. Konya has 158,000. Most of these modifiers are actually the same. So I probably won't go through all of the modifiers. Just... The Urban Pops. Toro Slar has uh, 154,000 Urban Pops. Surprisingly, I didn't really build in this province, but our capital has been building there. So they actually built up this province pretty good. It has 50 developments and 131,000 Urban Pops with 184,000 Urban Gravity. And you can see Metropole at Metropole aided this province. Yeah, so we didn't really build that up. It was built up uh, by the AI, the AI provinces. Our regional capitals built that up. That's why you want to you want to build up the regional capitals, because if you build up the regional capitals, then the regional capitals will build up the surrounding areas. For the most part, Kaffa, two hundred sixteen thousand urban pops. See, our capital, Trapezunta, has aided a province. Kaffa has aided a province. Constantinople has not aided a province. Generally, Constantinople, Trapezunta, are constantly aiding provinces because they get a lot of cash overflow. Karaman has done it uh, frequently. Haven't really seen Baghdad, Toro, Slar, or Tabriz, or Cartley really doing it, though. Ah, uh, Cartley's gonna do it. They have uh, 1,400 urban wealth. Speaking of Cartley, they have uh, 200,000... 211,000 urban pups. I think Tabriz... They should do it recent, recently. Shortly. 951 urban wealth. 265 urban pop. And of course, that is the uh, largest city on the continent and a continental art and intellectual center. Baghdad was a recent addition. They have 172,000 urban pops. Relatively recent, I suppose. I think it was in the 1600s that I grabbed that province. Toroslar... 150,000 urban pops. Did conquer this region. Not sure if I showed that. Cairo actually by itself is uh, doesn't have a trade modifier. So it's probably not that great to build in if it's not already built up. Granted, it is a province on the Nile, so it has great... Uh, farming efficiency and rural pops to help feed your the rest of your country. So I, I think these provinces are all worth building in. But interestingly, Cairo does not have a trading a trade modifier, which is interesting because you'd think they would have a trade modifier there. Although I think they do it's one of those uh, gateway trade modifiers so if a muslim power holds it they'll get a trade modifier if a non-muslim power takes it then they that will be lost which is an interesting decision uh i think calicut yeah this province has 179,000 urban pops So I'm probably going to build a customs house here because that is uh, 179 is over 160, so that would be 
a direct benefit and would help control that uh, sweet Ceylon trade. All of those ducats. We have 3,029 development. It's uh, 2,000 rural development and 933 urban development with 54 upper class pops. That doesn't seem like a lot of upper class. We have uh, 24 million rural pops, 5.4 million urban pops, 1.4 million upper pops, and our country urbanization is 18.5%. Our total for the great powers, half of our subjects development is 382, so we're, 300, we're at 3,411 development, which is less than half of China. Let's see, any other, any other modes? Are there any uh, developed provinces? I guess there's a couple of regional capitals over here. Bessarabia, 102,000 urban pops. Kiev, looking really lonely over there. Only 32,000. I did grab uh, Halkidiki, so I'm going to build. I'm going to try to build that up. It's got 49,000 urban pops right now. It's in the uh, Aegean, so should help me with that uh, trade power. And yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Probably conquer the rest of Greece. Continue trying to grab this trade. Probably play for another minimum 20 years. Try to grab some of that trade if uh the game runs fine in the 1700s i'll try to go further than 1700 but uh, i think i'm going to i want to start a campaign in 2.51 this is 2.5 so i want to finish this campaign in 2.5 before i move on so i'm not sure how much i'll go into this before I start a new campaign. And I don't want to start a new campaign in 2.51 and have one going in 2.5. So yeah, we'll see. Continue uh, building, grabbing that trade, and uh, see you in the next part. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.